The holiday season is upon us, and as we wind down the year 2023 and move into 2024, I want to let you know what my top five holiday films are of this season. Now, as you warm the fireplace, you get those marshmallows and hot cocoa re ready, or if you pour in a little Douce or Hennessy, here's something to cuddle up with your woman, get the kids, or, you know, that mistress, sit back and chill on, during this holiday season. Number five. Now, this is not received well in, in many atmospheres, but for me, it's one of my personal fa favorite holiday films. And I'm gonna have to go with Bruce Willis's 1988 classic, Die Hard. Now you have something to say on, this isn't a holiday movie, this isn't a Christmas film, but hey. The man was trying to get back to his family on Christmas. He had some run-ins at the airport. Where do you spend most of your time during the holiday season? Just traveling. Who don't you wanna deal with during the holiday season? Law enforcement. You put these two together, you have Die Hard. If you haven't had a chance to check that film out, please check it out. You could also go see the 1990 film Die Hard 2 when you, when you finish that one up. At number four for me is an all-time favorite. I used to watch this when I was a little kid. I remember being at my grandmother's house during Christmas and staying up all Christmas Eve trying to catch Santa Claus and watching the 1946 film It's a Wonderful Life. Now, if you have not seen that film before, it may be different for some of the new school, new generation cats because it's completely in black and white. They do have a few editions that were kind of remastered and put out later in time that are in color, but a classic film about a man who really isn't appreciating where he is in life. He feels like life sucks, he's down on his bottom, and an angel sent from the heavens above comes down to show him what life would be like if he was never there. All the lives in which he's impacted, his wife, his children, his siblings, one of my all-time favorites. At number three, I've had to watch this film so far, maybe about two or three times, and it was delightful to actually put my own kids onto it. I love kind of raunchy comedies. So this 2007 film, Fred Claus, is one of my all-time favorites. It's about Santa Claus's brother, Frederick, and he kind of feels like a misfit. He sees his younger brother, Nicholas, getting all the love from the time of them being toddlers to adolescents. And once his brother actually becomes Santa Claus, Fred, gets out into the real world in the city of Chicago. And he has to go back to the North Pole to help his brother with some family business. So it's a really good film. It's a PG film, but uh, it is a little raunchy. So if your kids are a little sensitive or you haven't kind of uh, exposed them to some things, you might want to hold off on that one until they get about 10, 11 years old. Number two for me is another classic, Will Ferrell, 2003. I remember being a young teen watching this film right here, Elf. If you haven't seen this film before, it's about another misfit, an uh, oversized elf. He never really grows up, and he lives in the North Pole, and he has to go to the real world to find his father, who just ended up pretty much having a one-night stand with one of the elves and having this kid. It's a really funny film, um, but again, that one is a little raunchy as well. And the number one for me, if you know me, is kind of quite obvious. Since I was a kid, before it was a popular thing, and we see it all, we see him rather, all over the, the world during the holiday times is The Grinch. And it could be any of the three Dr. Seuss films, The Grinch. You can give me the classic one from 1966. You can give me Jim Carrey's version. Uh, that came out in 2000. Or the most recent one, the more animated or 3D pixel, Pixar looking animated one that came out in 2018. So again, at five, we have Die Hard. At four, we have It's a Wonderful Life. At three, we have Fred Claus. At number two, I got Elf. And at number one, any version of The Grinch you want to give me, I'm rocking out. You can let us know some of your holiday films below. Stay tuned to Live Hip Hop Daily and These Urban Times. Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy New Year.